wear the blue of the night meets the gold of the day. Someone waits for me. Music Hall with John Scott Trotter and his orchestra and chorus, Eugenie Baird, the charioteers, and our special guest, the triple threat talent, Frankie Carl, piano stylist, composer, and band leader. Say, Bing, um, I know modesty forbids, but I would just like to talk a bit about your Academy Award. Oh, please, Kenneth, oh, please. Yeah. It's such execrable taste for me to discuss such a thing. However, you talk me into it. Go ahead. <laughs> Well, uh, what I wanted to know, I've heard conflicting versions of what you said to Bob Hope. Uh, just what did you say when he handed you the award? Come on, let go. <laughs> well, now that you've won your Oscar, what have you been doing all week? Trying to explain it. <laughs> well, just rise above it, Bing. That I'll do, Ken. I'll laugh, I'll sing, I'll be gay, I'll, I'll sing. do that. Yeah, I'll do that, yes. We got a... John Wilson down here. Maybe you're... Saturday night is the loneliest night in the week Cause that's the night that my sweetie and I Used to dance cheek to cheek I don't mind Sunday night at all Cause that's the night friends come to call And Monday to Friday goes fast And another week is past but Saturday night, the loneliest night in the week. I sing the song that I sang for the memories I usually see. Till things are like they were before. Until you're in my arms once more. Saturday night is the loneliest night in the week.
like that song, Jenny, but believe me, you gave it special significance tonight. Here comes that ever groovy group, the charioteers, and they are about to lay upon us a genuine brandy, the little white horse and the mare. Romeo and Juliet were quite a famous pair, according to the books of history. And here's another great romance you'll see it at the fair, on exhibition in England. A little white horse on the merry-go-round Fell in love with the little gray mare He'd been tagging her around Oh, the merry-go-round up there Now the little white horse on the merry-go-round Popped the question to the little gray mare Ask her if she'd marry him On the merry-go-round up there The calliope played the wedding march All the animals began to sing Oh, the deep blow winked at the tall giraffe as the man took the little brass ring. Now the little white horse and the little gray man will honeymoon round and round. You'll always see them at the fair, for the merry-go-round wouldn't go around without the little white horse and the man. The little red horse on the merry-go-round fell in love with the little gray man. He'd been tagging her around on the merry-go-round at the fair. One of the most agreeable new ballads is After a While, with a melody by Abner Silver and a nice lyric contrived by the brothers Kenny. He cut Charles and the seagoing Nick.
with a smile and pretend that we never have been apart. Maybe I'll fool my heart after all. Composer Frankie Carl can contrive them. For so special treat tonight, our guest Frankie hits us with Sweet Lorraine, one of his biggest records. Frankie Carl and a group. <laughs> Deaf, very deaf indeed, and exquisitely listenable. Compared to you, you know, some pianists play that as if they were wearing boxing gloves. Coincidentally, Bane, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a boxer. Yeah? Don't you ever have that urge? Not anymore. I bet you'd still get a bang out of shadow boxing. Shadow boxing? What do I want going around boxing crooners, right? <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe you've lost all interest in putting on the gloves. Well, not entirely, Frank. Yeah, I suppose you've heard of that beloved champ, the great John L. Sullivan. Sure, why? Nothing special. I just wondered. <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> well, Your interest is in an outfit that made a picture about the great John L. Is it that it? Oh, no, Frank. You know how I shrink from such crass commercialism. <laughs> but it'll be released soon. Uh, <laughs> time for releasing you for a little more active duty at the 88. Let's have that spicy syncopation with the Hindu inspiration. Hindustan. <laughs>
Thank you, Franken. Tonight's assorted melodies from the dim, and in this case, grisly past, found expression originally in a picture called The Road to Singapore. This large pre-war block party resulted in a reasonable amount of confusion among hapless moviegoers, but it did have a fine musical score. Thanks, among other factors, to a droll ditty designed by Johnny Burke and James Monaco called The Sweet Potato Piper. You know, Bay, it's always seemed to me a little bit screwy to have a musical instrument called a sweet potato. Why so? I never thought of calling an ocarina a sweet potato. Silly! Well, wouldn't you call a steak a symphony? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Nocturne? Me too. Oh, bear. The Road to Singapore was the first of the Hope Crosby Road series, wasn't it, Bay? Yes, it was, Ken. Well, um, without being fired, who would you say ran away with the acting on it? Dorothy Lamour. Oh. Hope and Hope Pursuit. Very, very sweet girl, as in sweet potato pie. Go ahead. Music to the savage, that's a well-known phrase. But your heart becomes full of kettle drums when the sweet potato piper plays. Go on, throw your hat up, shout a few hooray. Cause you can't hold back, you're just a jumping jack when the sweet potato piper plays. Though it's not a magic flute. There's a fascinating root. It's not exactly beautiful. It's sort of like an I don't know. I guess you call it cute. Something trying to dance and some first sound. There is, you gotta wrinkle your nose on that. Well, join in with a great big grin when the sweet potato piper plays. I gotta take it all back. See? Yeah, the sweet potato can be quite a poetic object. Mm, but as sure as they can. You never know about poetry or poetry lovers either. Oh? No? Who would think, for example, that Mayor LaGuardia was one such? Well, who would be? Why do you think so? Oh, current events suggest that he's a great admirer of that famous verse, curfew must not ring tonight. <laughs> One quite poetic scene from Road to Singapore being where Dorothy Lamour serenaded you with a guitar. Oh, yes. By the way, can Dolly actually play one? Play guitar? Yeah. Oh, I don't think so, Ken. But when she played a guitar to me while wearing a sarong, who was watching the guitar? <laughs> and I hope nobody was watching me. <laughs> yeah, I've even forgotten what she was singing. It was a tender tune by John Burke and Victor Schertzinger called The Moon in the Willow Tree. I have two friends. The stranger company. 
One moment, please. category do they play throw the singer for? Is that a comedy or is it a great straight drama? Oh, I'd call it sort of fun in the smoke out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. However, credibility decreed that I win the girl. Oh, uh, there was a comedy there. <clears throat> <laughs> there are some flickers, however, though, in which Bob Hope wins the fair maid. We must face back, however grim. Very grim. How does he manage to win? The usual way, by a nose. <laughs> Well, uh, when you two make pictures together, I suppose you prefer to be the romantic side. Oh, I did it one time, Kenneth, but I'm rapidly receding to previously prepared positions. You know, young Andy Russell has just been signed at Paramount. Oh, yeah. You got Eddie Bracken, too. Well, that's both the problem. I don't worry about that. Such a fool of me. You know you're not too near, and I'm too